There. I forgot with this cold snap we had, I forgot to remove and blow my water out of my drain pipe, so I may have split this underground like I did a couple years ago. Yep, it's all full of water. I may have split that pipe. Nothing I could do about it, it's below freezing, so gotta wait till Sunday when the temperature goes up. Unless I want to take a hairdryer to the pipe that's underground. Last year, two years ago, it blew up and I turned the sump pump on in the spring and it was bubbling up like black gold. Texas tea, the first thing you know, Corvair's got a split pipe. Corvair Wild's gonna have to get the heck out of town. It's a sunny day. There's a pathfinder on the flatbed. Off we go. Who's gonna fix all these fancy complicated cars? with their computers. Ford has a computer on the Fusion that's gone bad. The computer lets you remove the key when the vehicle's in drive or something after 30 minutes. It's a computer issue. <laughs> computer decides when you remove the key? What? Yep. Computers control everything. On VPR, Vermont Public Radio at noon, they're going to be discussing jury duty. Do you want to serve on a jury? Or do you dread jury duty? I got out of it once. The second time I forgot to go, I missed the appointment by an hour. And the guy pled guilty. So I was off the hook, luckily. But I can't serve on jury duty. Because I'd fall asleep. Too boring listening to people's drama stories. Too boring. Ultra gel spray grease. What the heck is that? Oh, that was from the trip to uh, to Denver. That's right. <sighs> Beautiful sunny day. Colder tomorrow. And Buffalo. That much snow. Buried. Poor Buffalo. I guess for every winner. For every loser, there's a winner. Someone's got to be happy there's snow. The people making snowmen, maybe? Or I don't know. Alrighty. Let's see if my tailgate works. Where's that wire go that I just fixed? Oh, went right back into place. Let's see if my tailgate works. I got it taped shut, but nothing. I don't need the key on sump pump. I forgot to disconnect and purge the line, but I took off the backflow preventer and uh, it was still full of liquid. So I'm gonna run up the hill to my house and see if I can clear the line. So, bear with me. Bear with me while I steady the camera on the tripod. I'm going to grab my air tank. Did we get any water? I think we did. I see a drop. Of course, I wasn't here, but I'll turn the camera to play the recent event. See what we got. 
Hope so. Got my air tank I've had for 25 years with an oil pressure gauge I stole when I was a kid from a Nova with a big motor. Probably a 76 Nova. A long time ago. Yeah, 30 years ago. Well, good. That worked. I refilled the tank. Yeah, I'll tell you the story of this pressure gauge. Way back in 1981, I was working at a big Chevy dealership. We sold some diesel Cadillacs and Oldsmobiles. The old 5.7. And uh, there was a Nova sitting there, one of the last years for the Nova, 76, 77, 78. With a blown motor or something, whatever it was. And I grabbed the gauge. Yeah, I'm not perfect. I know you thought I was. Wait a minute, what am I doing over here? I gotta set the camera over at the water end. <laughs> Way over here. Back and forth, back and forth. You ever think if you had a really big yard, you'd be all spoiled? Your neighbors would be further away, unlike these neighbors that are right on top of me. Then you'd have to walk so far back and forth to get stuff. I live on a small lot. Everything's nearby. A big lot, like an acre or more. You gotta walk, walk, walk. medium-sized house on a double lot. Everybody lives somewhere. I hope you're not homeless. Did it work? No idea. Camera worked at least. I got some sand in it. I was able to clean it out, so I guess I'll unplug my sump pump for the winter. I've had this wire here for a long time, but I guess the season for sump pumping is over. Try to keep the yard dry on the low lot on the totem pole. Yeah, maybe I'll go back and find out who owned this gauge 33 years ago. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs>